Hello, welcome to uh, video number four. Uh, this one is a surprise. Well, a, a surprise in terms of not something that I had been expecting to talk about. Uh, this has to do with a Tom Stoppard play called Travesties. And it's a role in my life, past, present, and at least in the short term, future. Uh, this play was written in the early 70s, and uh, I'll tell you about it. Well, first of all, what I'm going to tell you is just true. It's history, irrespective of the play. In Zurich, Switzerland, in 1917, um, James Joyce was living there uh, working on writing Ulysses. Uh, Lenin was also there in exile, trying to get back into Russia because the revolution had broken out. And a man you might not have heard of called Tristan Zara was one of the leaders of the Dada movement in art. That's anti-art. Uh, as an example, uh, one might cut up a book and randomly pull words out of a hat, and that would be a poem in Dadaism. Um, James Joyce, in order to raise money, staged a production of the Oscar Wilde play, The Importance of Being Earnest. And one of the men who worked at the British Consul, Henry Carr, was cast in the role of Algernon. He and Joyce did not get along, to the point where they wound up in a series of reciprocal lawsuits over the cost of a pair of trousers, and Joyce immortalized Carr in Ulysses in a really insulting fashion. So the play Travesties takes place in the memory of old Henry Carr, looking back in his youth in Zurich in 1917, and talking about, of course, how he advised Lenin on the revolution, and how he gave Joyce the ideas behind Ulysses, and how he inspired Tristan Zara and the Dadaist movement in art. And the way that one can remember things in different ways uh, is dramatized, in that you will see the same scene take place more than once, and each time it's different. It'll keep jumping back and starting again. Uh, at one point, there's one scene that you see where everyone speaks in limericks through the entire thing. And on top of this, the plot and dialogue is all mixed up with the plot and dialogue of the importance of being earnest. So, uh, I saw this play when I was 14 years old. It was at Manitoba Theatre Centre. Um, Kathleen Turner... Uh, coincidentally, was in it. Uh, she had filmed Body Heat, which was her first movie, but it hadn't been released yet. So she wasn't Kathleen Turner. She was just another actress. Uh, she was playing Gwendolyn. It was mind-blowing to me. I had always loved theatre. Um, my goodness, my mom took me to Hamlet when I was like six years old. Uh, but I had never seen anything like Travesties, where the set just moved back and forth, and a carpet at one point became a table, um, because it was all in the mind. And and I realized the power that you had on stage to play with reality in a way that I'd never seen before. And, uh, and I've gotten into arguments with some people. I still think theater is more able to break reality and play with reality than even film or TV. But other people have different views. It's never going to be solved. But for me, because of travesties, that became my aspiration in theatre. And in fact, um, pretty much everything I've written has been heavily influenced by Stoppard. After, uh, after I saw that play, I guess I should mention, I'd never seen The Importance of Being Earnest. I think I'd heard of it. Uh, I I knew vaguely who Lenin was. I think I knew the name James Joyce. I certainly had never heard of Tristan Zara or Dadaism. But oh, in the few years after seeing that play, oh, did I mention I wound up going back and seeing it repeatedly? I'm not sure. Maybe four times, maybe five. I'm, I'm really not sure. Uh, I became obsessed with all the elements, and I had to learn about all of these things. I also read all of Tom Stoppard's other stuff. Of course, his most famous play, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. But uh, I, I grew quite a liking for some of his more obscure early works, uh, Artists Descending a Staircase, Every Good Boy Deserves Favor, 
Dog's Hamlet, Cahoots Macbeth. Um, the way that he plays with audiences and plays with language absolutely fascinated me. A few years ago, I got into a discussion about Tom Stoppard with uh, an actress friend of mine, Sally, and she didn't have a very high opinion of Stoppard, certainly not as high as my opinion of Stoppard. Um, and she was familiar with travesties, but uh, she dismissed it and, and Stoppard in general <clears throat> as being too uh, writing for the mind, not for the heart. Um, that's, that's really stayed with me because of other criticisms of my writing, and uh, I think I kind of do the same thing. So it's not terribly surprising then that I, I that my hero for creativity, ah, I've got this, I've got the same flaw. Whatever, that's not really that relevant. What is relevant is that a couple of days ago, another friend of mine, uh, Ziamana Webster, uh, posted on Facebook. She was trying to get one of those, not quite a meme, but one of those challenges started. And her idea was that you would uh, pick your favorite play and then create your dream cast, but it had to be out of your Facebook friends. And for her, it was Midsummer Night's Dream. And so, whoa, she had about, you know, 40 characters there. I thought that was really cool. And I decided that I would do the same thing. My favorite play is Travesties. Nowhere near 40 people. Um, so I made my dream cast. And of course you tag them. And then it just so happened that uh, most of them were interested in actually doing this, putting together a, a Zoom meeting and doing a read through of the play. Once that idea came up, I was so excited and a little bit embarrassed because I'd cast myself as Henry Carr, which is the lead role. Oh my gosh, does he have a lot of dialogue? So um, it looks like a bit of a, uh, I don't know, self-congratulatory, oh, aren't I great? Look, I'm putting this on so I can play this part. But I didn't, when I cast myself in that, I really didn't know that we were actually going to do it. And now we are aiming for the end of June, that's the future, uh, doing a live Zoom reading of Tom Stoppard's Travesties, which we will broadcast and I hopefully record. I think you can record it. It's Zoom. It's on the internet. Everything lives forever on the internet. So, um, yeah, so that's what this video turned out to be about. And I will keep that updated. I certainly hope that all of you will be sure to check it out. It's a really funny play. Um, I hope we can do some interesting things with it in the Zoom read. And uh, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I get to play Henry Carr. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, comment, sacrifice, protest, levitate, whatever. Have a good one.